Hello and welcome everyone. Today our topic of discussion is blood group. In this video we are going to discuss about ABO blood group system, RH system and methods of detection like slide method, tube method, gel card method and other recent methods like microtiter plate agglutination and paper chromatography. To understand a blood group we have to understand the red blood cells first. Red blood cells are differentiated from each other on the basis of their surface antigen structures. It was a Carl Landsteiner who first discovered the ABO blood group system in 1900 and the rhesus system later. International Society of Blood Transfusion has recognized 33 blood group systems. Among the 33 systems, ABO system remains the most important in the transfusion and the transplantation since any person above the age of 6 months possess clinically significant anti A and or anti B antibodies in their serum. Let's understand what are different types of the antigens that are attached to RBC surface. The biosynthesis of H, A and B antigen involves the series of enzymes called glycoside transferase that transfers the monosaccharides. The H antigen is produced by specific fucosyl transferase depending upon the person's ABO type and the H antigen is converted into either A antigen, B antigen or both. If the person has a blood group O, the H antigen remains unmodified. Let's see. So this is the RBC. First here attaches the H antigen. The H antigens involves fucose, N-acetyl, glucosamine and galactose. If only H antigen is present on the RBC then we can say that the blood group is O. Next. When N-acetyl galactose amine attaches to H antigen, then it becomes the A antigen and it gives rise to A blood group. If another galactose is attached to the H antigen, then it forms the B antigen. And if the B antigen is present on RBC, then we can say that it is a B blood group. The H locus contains FUT1 gene which is expressed in the RBC. At least one functioning copy of FUT needs to be present for the H antigen to be produced on the RBC. If the both copies of FUT1 are inactive, the Bombay phenotype results. So if there is absence of H antigen on the RBC, then we can say that it is a Bombay blood group. The individual do not produce the H carbohydrate that is a precursor of A and B antigens. And individuals of the rare OH phenotypes lacks the H determinants in the all tissues. Other rare individuals of the para-Bombay phenotype synthesize H determinants in their secretory epithelia but not in the erythroid lineage. Let's understand the A group. In the A blood group, the antigen which is present on the RBC is a A antigen and the antibody which is present in the plasma is anti B antibody. So this combined makes the A blood group. In the B blood group, the antigen present on the RBC is a B antigen and the antibody present in the plasma is anti A antibody. This combined makes the B blood group. In the O blood group only H antigen is present on the RBC and anti A and anti B both antibodies are present in the plasma. Blood group typing refers to distinct chemical interaction between the specific antibodies and blood group antigens to monitor agglutination. The blood group typing done by tube or slide test and also by microtiter plate agglutination and gel centrifugation which are relatively modern day methods. So here we can see 
the blood group a has a a antigen on the rbc anti b antibody in the plasma blood group b has a b antigen on the rbc anti a antibody in the plasma blood group ab has ab antigen on the rbc and the no antibodies in the plasma and blood group o has a none antigen only h antigen on the rbc and anti a and anti b antibodies in the plasma let's understand the research system when the d antigen is present on the rbc then we can say that this is the positive blood group type and when the d antigen is not present on the rbc then we can say this is the negative blood group type contrary to the abo system here d antigen present on the rbc but no anti rh antibodies in the plasma the rhesus system is a second most important blood group system after abo anti rh antibodies are normally not present in the blood of the individuals with the d negative rbc unless the circulatory system of this individual has been exposed to d positive rbcs this immune antibodies are immunoglobulin g igg in nature and hence can cross the placenta the prophylaxis is given against the rh immunization using anti d igg for the pregnant rh negative mother who have given a birth to rh positive child let's understand the different methods the abo and the rh blood grouping system is based on the agglutination reaction when the red blood cells carrying one or both antigens are exposed to the corresponding antibodies they interact with each other to form the visible agglutination or clumping first we see the slide method for the slide method clean the fingertip to be pierced with the spirit or 70% alcohol use ring or middle finger with the help of the sterile lancet pierce the fingertip and the place one drop of blood at a three sides on the slide after that add one drop of anti serum respectively anti a anti b and anti d into the each drop of blood on the slide mix each blood group drop and anti serum using a fresh mixing stick observe the agglutination in the form of a fine red aggregates within the 30 seconds the anti rhd makes a slightly longer time to agglutinate compared to anti a and anti b so here we can see the agglutination is present in the anti a serum and anti d serum so this blood group is a positive this is the actual picture showing slight blood group testing the ab first slide showing the ab positive showing agglutination in all three anti serums second picture on the right side shows a o negative blood group showing no agglutination in all three anti serums the third picture left hand side lower corner shows b negative blood group agglutination with anti b sera only and the fourth right hand side lower corner shows a negative blood group showing agglutination with anti a sera let's understand the tube method first take patient's edta whole blood for grouping and the take simple test tube add 4 to 5 drops of the whole blood from the patient serum into the test tube and add normal saline for washing wash 3 times and prepare 5% suspension from this 5% suspension add one drop of cells in four new plain test tubes in the first test tube add one drop of anti a sera in the second test tube add one drop of anti b sera in third test tube add one drop of anti d sera and in the fourth test tube keep it as a auto control and add one drop of ns so this part is called forward grouping 
Now prepare 5% of the suspension of pulled A and pulled B cells from randomly selected 3A and 3B positive blood group samples. Add one drop of 5% suspension of pulled A positive cells into the tube 5 and add one drop of patient's plasma in it. Add one drop of 5% suspension of pulled B positive cell into the tube number 6 and add one drop of patient's plasma in it. And this is called the reverse grouping. Incubate at room temperature for 60 to 90 minutes or centrifuge for 15 seconds. After that observe the agglutination macroscopically or microscopically. The forward blood group system identifies the antigens that are present on the RBC and the reverse blood group system identifies the antibodies which is present on the patient's plasma. So after the method here is our result. The agglutination is seen in the anti-A sera, anti-D sera and the B cell in the reverse blood group. So our blood group is A positive. This is the actual photo showing agglutination of RBCs in the tube method. Now let's understand the gel card method. First prepare the 5% suspension as we prepared for the tube method. <coughs> From this 5% suspension add 10 microliter of the blood into the A column, B column, D column and control column. And take the patient's plasma or serum. Add 50 microliter of the patient serum into the A1 well and B well. And prepare pulled A cell and pulled B cell suspension. Add a 50 microliter of pulled A cell into the A1 well and Add 50 microliter of the pulled B cell suspension into the B cell well. Centrifuge this gel card for 5 minutes and observe the agglutination. Here you can see the agglutination is seen with A antisera, D antisera, and with the pulled B cell. So our blood group is A positive. Let's understand the micro titer plate method. The micro titer technology uses the automated platform to detect serum antibodies and RBC surface antigens. The reactants are centrifuged and incubated in the micro plates. The ABO and RH blood type is read through an automated system. Let's see the video to understand the procedure. The novel technique has been introduced recently is a paper based method. It is also called the lateral flow method. It is a very quick method. The result can be obtained within 30 seconds. In the recent decades, the paper based 
microfluidics has gained much interest the lateral chromatographic flow method and the vertical flow through method that detects blood group in the visual based manner it is used when the urgent blood grouping is needed like emergency condition war situation or point of care testing it gives the results within 30 seconds this is in short about the blood group hope you like it thank you and I'll see you in the next video bye